Hello and welcome to a brand new episode of BCN 3D Explains. In today's episode, we'll be taking a deep dive into the world of ABS, a versatile and durable thermoplastic polymer that's widely used across the whole manufacturing space, not just 3D printing. As we did during the previous episode, we'll be taking a look at the definition, specification, applications and variations of ABS. Then we'll talk about why the BCN 3D ecosystem is the perfect way to process this material. And then we'll wrap things up with a summary. And I'll also tell you which material we'll be talking about in the next episode. So firstly, let me explain exactly what ABS is. ABS stands for acrylonitrile butadiene styrene. It's a thermoplastic polymer renowned for its versatility, strength and impact resistance. Composed of acrylonitrile, butadiene and styrene monomers, ABS offers a unique balance of properties. It combines the toughness of polybutadiene rubber, the rigidity of styrene and the chemical resistance of acrylonitrile. These attributes make ABS an ideal choice for various applications across many industries. Let's discuss what makes ABS such a popular material. ABS boasts impressive mechanical properties, making it highly suitable for 3D printing. With a tensile strength ranging from 40 to 60 megapascals, ABS provides robust structural integrity and durability. Its exceptional impact resistance allows it to withstand high stress situations without fracturing. Moreover, ABS exhibits a high glass transition temperature of around 100 degrees C, making it well suited for applications requiring a higher temperature resistance than more entry level filaments such as PLA. Now let's talk about some popular applications for ABS. One of the most famous uses of ABS is actually by Lego. However, we're going to be taking a look at some common applications and verticals, which will be automotive, electronics manufacturing and functional prototyping. In automotive, ABS is extensively used for the production of components in interior trims, dashboards and exterior parts. Its mechanical strength and impact resistance makes it ideal for these demanding applications. You can check out the BCN 3D use cases with Ellie Sava Racing Team on our website to learn more about how they're printing ABS for some of their automotive projects. In electronics manufacturing, ABS is frequently employed for the use of electrical enclosures, TV housings, computer keyboards and other electrical appliances. Its insulating electrical properties, together with its ability to withstand higher temperatures, make it an ideal choice for these more demanding electrical applications. Functional prototyping is the other hugely popular application for ABS. ABS is often utilised in rapid prototyping due to its smooth matte surface finish and powerful mechanical properties. It enables the creation of functional parts such as casings, brackets and jigs, offering both strength and durability. ABS is available in a variety of formulations and filament variations. Notable variations include ABS with modifiers, ABS that's been blended with polycarbonate, and ABS that's been loaded with chopped fibers. So firstly, ABS with modifiers. This is where we include specific additives into the resin which enhance certain properties, such as chemical resistance, temperature resistance, or flame retardancy. These modifiers allow us to create materials which unlock even more applications. Secondly, we have ABS blended with polycarbonate. This allows us to take the temperature resistance and dimensional stability of polycarbonate together with the impact resistance of ABS to create a material which unlocks even more applications. And finally, there's ABS loaded with chopped fibers. This allows us to massively improve the stiffness and temperature resistance of ABS, again, unlocking even more applications. BCN 3D offers a natural ABS blend without additives that is ideal for many applications. However, thanks to the Open Filament Network, we can also offer printing profiles for ABS blends from third-party filament manufacturers, such as BSF. Their PC ABS FR is a polycarbonate ABS with flame retardant properties. Let's discuss why the Epsilon line of 3D printers from BCN 3D is the perfect way to achieve great results when printing with ABS. The enclosed printing chamber on both the Epsilon W50 and W27 can maintain an ambient printing temperature of around 60 degrees, meaning that the risk of warping when producing large ABS components is massively reduced. The 50 litre build volume 
on the W50, together with BCN3D's signature IDEX technology, provides the most efficient way to produce large ABS 3D printed parts. In a recent update to our slicing software Stratos, ABS now prints even better. With a complete refresh to printing parameters, we're printing faster, using less material and achieving an even better surface finish with our standard ABS profile. ABS is compatible with our soluble support material of choice, BVOH. This allows users to design with complete freedom and then simply dissolve their support material away in water, no nasty chemicals required. Both ABS and BVOH can be found in the BCN3D Essentials Pack. This pack contains everything you need to get started with 3D printing on your Epsilon. So the pack includes two spools of ABS, Tough BLA and BVOH, as well as a couple of hot ends and Magigoo bed adhesives. The Essentials Pack can be found on our website and also is stocked by all BCN3D local partners. So to summarize, ABS is one of the most popular materials available to Epsilon users. This is because not only does it have a smooth matte surface finish, it's durable too, meaning that it can be used for end use parts. Printing ABS couldn't be much easier and more accessible than together with the BCN3D ecosystem of Epsilon printers, Smart Cabinet, Stratos slicing software, and BCN3D Cloud. If you'd like to speak to one of our specialists about an application that you have in mind for printing large ABS parts, then feel free to contact us by visiting our website, bcn3d.com. Thank you so much for watching this episode of BCN3D Explains. I look forward to catching you in the next one when we take a look at another popular material, PET CF15. See you next time.